Started off with a dream that was way big. Bought some rollies for the team, could have bought a rich. Welcome back, Betty TV folks, to another episode. Today we got a special guest, my boy. JJ Aquizera, left winger for CF Montreal. Let's run it. Yes, sir. It's good to see you, my boy. I haven't seen you since you've been back, bro. Well, it's been a minute, man. You're looking good, though. You look better, my boy. I saw you, bro. But tell me, man, tell me how everything has been. You know, how's life treating you over there? Life everything. is good, bro. I'm telling you, life is amazing, man. I can just thank God, bro. Yeah. Life is good, yeah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, yeah, tell me, tell me, like, how has your life changed, you know? Bro, my life has changed crazy, bro. Mm. Like, this whole year has been unexpected. Yeah. Like, to be in a position I've been, like, I mean, I, it's just crazy because, yeah. like, I'm living my dream, you know, I'm a professional soccer player, Thanks. like. The shit I've been dreaming about since I was like a little, little kid, you know, and I'm living this, so I just, I gotta thank God for that. Hell yeah, yeah, bro. Hell yeah, living the dream for real. A lot of people's dreams, you know, yeah. and we happy to see, you know, one of our own, you know, homegrown yeah. from Salt Lake City doing yeah, it so. out there, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I see you doing your thing, you know, getting, yeah. getting in there, doing yeah. what you do. Something you like, know something I mean? like, you yeah. know, I gotta handle my business. Yeah, on God, bro. Yeah. But that's dope, man. It's good to see that, you know, you handle it well and everything, yeah. you know, doing what you're doing. More opportunities gonna present itself. Exactly. But what's what's like, what's the difference between like the MLS and like D1 soccer or college ball? Bro, the biggest thing that I had to face was just the speed of play. Mm. It was so fast, bro. Like yeah. from the first game I stepped in, I was just like, bro, this is too fast. I was For like, real. One, two touches, like the ball is just moving. Yeah. Cause like in college, you can you can take as many touches as you want. Right. Like, you know you can kind of get away with it, but you take two or three touches, <laughs> they're on your ass. For real. Right? Yeah, so That's that, dope. Was, that was like the biggest thing for me to, to like, it's yeah. like, okay, this is like fast, fast. Hell yeah. yeah. So what got you started in soccer? Like what were your beginnings like, you know? My beginnings, so me, I'm originally from the Congo and then uh, I grew like just to the wars and stuff. I had to go to a refugee camp. And then through there, I kind of like, through everything, I kind of fell in love with the game, you know. It's also Africa, you know, you mm -hmm. like, that's the only game everybody plays. Fast, so yeah. kind of just being in a refugee camp, that kind of like, the love for the game kind of just grew for me and just started being more passionate. Cause mm. like, you know, I even started making my own soccer balls out of like trash bags and stuff like that. That's dope. So from there, I just grew the love and the passion for it. And that's something that hasn't left me to this day. And then I got opportunity, like, got a chance to come to the U.S., um, be in a foster care and be like with the foster family. And then through that, I started playing soccer out here, you know, mm. just playing like club soccer, you know, like, you know, club right. soccer around here, just playing. And then I started taking it like when I'm about like 15, I was like, I decided, okay, this is what I'm trying to do for, you know, for the wrong run, you know. Right. So I started taking it way more serious, putting the extra work and then just, I start like watching more film on players that I like, you know, and just mm -hmm. find the little things I can improve my game on, you know. And then through that, I just like my game just evolved, you know. Like to say, like I was even like, if you ask anybody to this day, like from like when I was playing like club soccer in Utah, like they asked, me, "Oh, is that you think that kid will make it? You think that kid will go pro?" They'd be mm -hmm. like, "Nah, who's that kid?" Like they'd be like, "Nah, hell no!" Nah. Like, come on now. Nah. Really? Yeah, because that was just, that was that was me, like, but for me, I always feel like I'm, if I can work hard, that right. I got something. I always knew I always had something, you know. Right. I just had to put it work, and then through that, I ended up getting a scholarship to a JUCO, because I didn't really have the grades out of high school. Like, I played high school ball, too. What? I didn't really have the grades out of, like, grades, and you know how important grades are. Facts. Like, yeah. <clears throat> really important, so I never really had the grades, and my ACT score was really low, so yeah. I had to go to a JUCO, and then to that, played two years at, uh, you know, Utah State Eastern, stayed, you know, still stayed around, like, something like an hour and a half from here, Right. you know, played two years there, and then I got an opportunity to go play at UVU, which I never thought, like, UVU, like, Word. Back then, they were known, like, you know, for UVU real. was That's just like, sick, yeah. like, they need, like, top That's players. That's them, yeah, like, for real. Especially in Utah, like, outside of Utah, oh, nobody God. really knows UVU. But right. Like, in Utah, you need, like, you got to be, like, all American, gay rate player of the year to be uh -huh. going to UVU. But I got a chance to, you know, go there and walk on. 
my first year is kind of tough, you know, we got a big squad. I ended up redshirting, you know, which was kind of a blessing in the disguise. Yeah. Yes, I redshirted, and then after that, played, uh, you know, the next year, actually COVID happened. Right. COVID happened, and I didn't get to, you know, didn't get to play that season. And I played the spring season, it was just something light, you know, I mm -hmm. played seven games. Did all right, you know, did okay, and then boom, that we got a new head coach, and then new head coach coming in, everybody got to step their game up, just you got to like, prove yourself, you right. know, because he's new, he's like, who's he trying to like, this is not his team, so he's trying to see who's going to keep next year and who's going to mm -hmm. get rid of, you know. So I was like, you know what, this is the time to grind, like, I grind, and, and he was somebody that, like, who I, you know, who I looked into because, you know, he played. Kyle Beckerman? Kyle Beckerman, yeah. That's dope, yeah. You know, he played for ourselves, so you, mm -hmm. like, Every Hero. weekend when there was yeah. a game, we would be watching him, right. shooting around, watching him score some goals. He was mm -hmm. on the national team as well. Right, right. So, like, I kind of took that as an opportunity and a chance for me to, like, step like step my game and see what I can learn from this guy who's, like, seen everything. He's you know? done it, yeah. Like, I was, I started picking, great, like, games just to, like, hey, this and that, like, what can I do better, you know? What can mm -hmm. I do this? And he's telling me how to move, like, better in my positioning and stuff and, like, what can help me better and then. Word. Yeah, through that year, I just see my game, like, excel a little bit. I always thought, like, I could have, like, I was preparing for the next year to be, like, great. I mm -hmm. didn't feel like that year was, like, you know, great yeah. for me. But it ended up, you know, I performed, had some good stats. Some of my last teams started looking, asking questions, asking, who's this kid? Like, you know, yeah. was he, like, what's up with him? You know, was, you know, where's he from? This and that. And, it started like the end of the season, it started getting more serious. Like these mm -hmm. questions started like, you know, being real serious. And then the team said, hey, we want to put you in the draft. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh man, the draft, what are you talking about? Like Montreal? Yeah, not even Montreal, it was a different team. I don't know if I can say oh, the right. team, but it was a different team. Yeah. Yeah, they asked me, it was just like, we're talking like, yeah, this and that. They talking with my coach and just kind of figure out exactly what they want, you know, because mm -hmm. you need in the experience, you can't just like, hey, I'm gonna put it in draft because I don't want to lose eligibility and stuff like that. And then, right. if I'm even eligible to be in the draft, because a lot of people don't know this, there's actually like, you gotta be eligible. Like, if you're a freshman, then you can't be in the draft. Oh, word? Yeah, I feel like, unless you get like a generation of Adidas and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But so they was like, hey, like, is he eligible and this and that? I was like, yeah. And then, but, and then the conversation started going like, Start getting like serious, serious. Like, they, like you know, that we start saying, "What if I? What about you offer a contract before the draft?" Mm. You know, like this, and, that, and then they start. Does he have representation? Does he have an agent? Right. Oh, I had to grab an agent and uh, send my agents. Like, hey, go talk to them. Like, what's yeah. up with them? So, like, you know, what are we doing? Like, are we doing this or is, are they just playing games? So he went and talked to them, and he was just like, "Yeah, they seem really serious, and they want to put you in the draft and be on their list." And I was like. All right, but then my agent's like, but you know, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna email. I'm gonna talk to these other teams that are looking for a player in your profile. You know, and mm -hmm. see where that goes, because I don't want to just, you know, in this world, you can't really just trust. Like, you can't be putting your eggs in just one basket. Right. So I just, you know, talk to them, talk to these other teams. Draft day comes. I didn't even speak to Montreal before, like Word. before they even say my name. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, I was just chilling in my brother's house. Just, you know. Watch the draft, like, and the YouTube was kind of, the YouTube channel was kind of, like, slow a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just like, oh, what's going on? Like, you know? Yeah. And I get a text. I'm going, like, hey, this the, you know, this the call. Like, we've been waiting for congratulations. You've been selected. Actually, I didn't get a text. I got a call from my agent. Right. He's like, congratulations, this and that. They're about to call you. And the TV was a little bit behind, so I couldn't see it. Right. But then I saw the team that I had next. <laughs> That's I was sick. like, yo, everybody, shut up, shut up. Oh, God. Yeah, just see my name being called. That's sick, way dope, man. huh? First sick. round, 15th, First huh? First round. Like, bro, the funny thing is, like, the people that were announcing it, yeah. they, didn't even know, they didn't know who I was. They were like, we expected them to go to the third round, you know? Right, like, right. They like, we didn't, we didn't have no peace on them, no nothing. Yeah. So, Sorry for the viewers, it's just like, it's like, hey man, you don't need to know what yeah, just know I'm here. You That's know? sick. Yeah. So I was like, that was kind of, you know, after that, I just been going. Hell yeah. Some, you know, highs and lows, but mm -hmm. just been going now, like, say I'm a professional, like, playing right. my first game. Just for like, real. My dream came true, you know. For real. 
Now I got other dreams too, you know. Hell yeah. Yeah. But I said, that's crazy though. Like for me, I just feel kind of like being somebody, I feel like nobody from Utah is really like, at least from like where we come from and just in that area. Like bro. most people that we see ourselves, they don't really like look like us, bro. Like, right. you know, they might have one or two, but if you look at the squad, it's just. For real. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's just kind of to feel like, I feel like, I feel special in one, like a type of way that like. Right. Hey, man, there was a team right here, but you actually, you were good enough for the league, you know? For you real. Know, so, yeah. Nah, you putting on for the people, man. Hey, man, I'm trying to. I'm trying to see, hey, to be whoever's next, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, hey, whoever's next. It's just yeah. out there. It's doable. It's like, it's doable, you mm -hmm. know? Like, it's always like, but when I would not really see nobody do it. Right. Now, I kind of feel like, hey, I can do it. Right. The next person up, you can do it. You know? Right, right. Just put in the work. God. Just put in the work. You mind, like, you know, you also need some luck and God on your side, but mm -hmm. put in the work and everything else will follow. Just put in the work and you can be next. For facts? Yeah. So I wanted to talk a little bit about, like, the soccer. Like, how does the trainings go? What's different? You know what I mean? Like, how, how long do you guys train for? Like, what is a regular day over there? The regular day? I said we train for about maybe, like, two hours. Mm. You don't really like, for me, I don't really like focus about the time. I'm just there to tell them like, okay, we're done training. So we get mm -hmm. there like nine o'clock, you know, we start training at 11. And just from 11 to like, we could be down at 12.30, we could be down at one o'clock, 1.30. So it's just. Word. Yeah. And the trainings are hard, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the trainings are hard, intense. Like competitive, like yeah, heck hella yeah. competitive. So, so yeah. it's good though. That's a good environment yeah, to grow in, you know. Bro. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. But it's like, do you do your own trainings too on the side or like? Yeah, sometimes just like for where I'm staying, guys, it's a bit harder. So it's just more like mm -hmm. I try to hit the gym, just you know, be stronger and just yeah. in that way. Like, and that's kind of the biggest thing. Like when I do my own training outside, it's just you know the gym mostly. Sometimes yeah. I touch the ball. You didn't go to the park, but it's mostly the gym. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You guys just do like one session a day? Yeah, one session a yeah. day. And it's just like preseason, we do two a days, but mm. it's mostly like one session a day. Y'all get to running. Oh, we get running, yeah. bro. We I bet. When they having us sprint, <laughs> yeah. it's a full field, bro. You got 10 Damn. seconds. I'm like, yo, that's chill crazy. Out. Yeah, let's get some water. That's but, wild. Man, that's good, though. But yeah, like, how how is it handling with the Canada weather? You know what I mean? How's all bro. that? Luckily for me, since I got there a little bit later than everybody, mm -hmm. I didn't get experience to like the snow snowstorms, bro. Yeah. Yeah, so like they had their last snowstorm the week before I got there. Oh, word. Yeah, it was just like a big snowstorm. I Blessings. Like, yeah, so I was like, thank God. <laughs> thank God. And I think it snowed like another day after that, but it was light. Yeah. So yeah, but when I go back now, this the winter time. Mm -hmm. I've heard some scary stories, bro. Oh, yeah. The snow is out there is crazy, so. <laughs> yeah, for real. No. We're about to see, though, so. Yeah, I mean, you'll be used to it being from here, you know what I mean? Maybe. Yeah. We don't know. We don't no, know. I still ain't used to it here, bro. I'll be staying <laughs> oh, inside, God. bro. We got like three jackets. I don't be out, bro. Yeah. Not bro. skiing is not my thing, brother. No, bro. I, was, I, was, I used to ski. Hmm. It's cold, bro. Yeah. All the way up in the slopes. I'm, bro. Yeah, All bro. All the way up there, bro. That's like, crazy. My hands be shaking, and I'm just like, bro, this ain't for me. There's a reason why I'm the only black dude out here. <laughs> oh, God, bro, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, yeah bro, I've been living here for like 20 years, bro. I ain't been skiing once. Yeah. Sledding was about it. You got to try, though. Like, I'll say everybody, you got to try this once. Snowboard yeah. or something. I don't know. Uh, you once gotta, my ankle heal up. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. Don't get hurt, bro. Don't get hurt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tell me about some like adversities or some difficulties that you go through, you know, being in another country and all that. Like, what are some things that? Oh, like, for me, it's like, being in another country is not like something new to me since like coming from the Congo and stuff. Right. But like, leaving like the U.S., because I haven't left the U.S. for like, you know, 12 years. So mm -hmm. like leaving like, for the first time like that, it was hard, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you get homesick a little bit. I never really thought I could be the tough person yeah. to get homesick, but like, <laughs> for real. I got homesick a bit. I was like, I'm trying to go home right yeah. now, you know. But I think also that and just, it gets a bit lonely because you're by yourself a lot of times, you know. Mm -hmm. like people like, you know, you got families and stuff like that, but then you also, but for me, I got kind of lucky because we also had a lot of guys who, did have their families there too, so mm -hmm. I was able to go hang out with them and just kind oh, of 
create that friendship with them off the field and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. yeah there's some days where you get, you can get lonely, bro. Yeah. I think that's also one of the one of the hard times because like if you have a hard day at training, like mm -hmm. sometimes you just want to come home and just like you know right. talk to your family, mm -hmm. just like you know. No cap. But when you don't got that, you just gotta go home and just like. Ah. Today was a tough day of training. Yeah. You know, just kind of just flush it down, just go. Mm -hmm. The next day now, let's just, you know, let's look for it for the next day. Word. Just forget about it. But yeah, I'd say that's kind of tough. That's dope. Yeah. What's like the culture like over there? Like, is it different here? Like, do they speak French, English? The culture is different. Like, it's not the same as here just because, like, it's like it's just the little things. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, they, they, have, they speak French. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's French. And they do speak English too, but Word. like, it just. When you start a conversation, they assume you already speak like oh, French. Word. So then they're like, "Oh, you got to tell. Oh, I'm sorry. That's dope. I speak. You know, I don't speak French. I speak English. Yeah. But I don't know. No, it's kind of different. Like the food and stuff. Some food like they don't got Chipotle, bro. They don't got Chipotle. They don't got Chipotle. They don't got Chick Fil A. What? Yeah, only Toronto. I was like, I was looking at Uber no Eats, my man, bro. <laughs> like I was calling. I was like, bro, where's Chick Fil A at, bro? Oh God, bro. It's like they don't got Chick Fil A. That bro. crazy, bro. Yeah. But yeah, what, what are like some things you guys do like outside of like practice or like outside of, you know, the field? Like what do y'all get into? We just, you know, we go to the mall, we yeah. play a lot of FIFA, you know, just something like nothing too crazy, you know. Because yeah. Yeah. we get tired, bro, after training. Sometimes just like for me, I just go home and take a nap. Yeah. Take an hour and a half nap, bro, I just pass out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, just go to the mall, go shopping a bit. Yeah, that's dope. But, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, what what are some things they do out there? Like, like some Canadian, you know, hobbies or whatever. Like, what what is the thing over there? Bro, that's the thing I haven't really gotten into. Oh yeah, that. yeah. yeah I kind of, you. you know, just kind of staying calm. Mm -hmm. But like the the biggest thing, especially like with Montreal, I noticed is like there's a like during the summertime mm -hmm. there was a lot of festivals. Oh word. Yeah, there were so many festivals going yeah. on, like all these different things. But yeah, I think I only went to like one, but. Yeah, I was kind of just kind of stay inside a bit. Word. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. You be safe out there, you know? Yeah. I know Canada crazy too. Yeah, France started, crazy too. They started wild now, bro. <laughs> you bring like, them together? <laughs> bro, they started like, there was a shooting by my house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then there was a dude that jumped out of the building. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. All in one week, bro. That Canadian weather yeah, made you go crazy. Dude, I was like, bro, these dudes <laughs> are tripping, bro. What am I? Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> were shooting. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope, though. Yeah. But. What's 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 a message or a little piece of advice you got for like the kids watching at home, you know? Oh, the message I gotta say is just don't give up, man. Like you're gonna hear so many no's, like hmm. like you're not gonna be everybody's favorite player, like especially like if you're an athlete or whatever. Right. You're gonna some you're gonna have so many people are gonna tell you no. Like you're gonna hear no like for the rest of your life, and that's the thing that I like kind of keep to myself too. Like I tell myself is like, yeah, you're gonna hear a no. Like it doesn't mean it's like the end of the world, like, Bro. then, okay, he said no, all right, I'm gonna find somebody who's gonna give me a yes, you know, just like, don't give up, and if you have a dream, continue chasing it, mm -hmm. it's your dream, or like, just because somebody else didn't accomplish their dream doesn't mean you can't, you know, it's yes. your own, you create your own path, that's, that's, you know, that's the message I gotta say, like, cause that's, yeah. that's how I move, you know, I just like, I created, like, I try to create my own path, you know, there's so many different ways, Somebody can be a pro, but you know, I went, I went to university and stuff like that. That's mm -hmm. like I got drafted, especially coming out of Utah. Like nobody really, right. you know, that's not something people really like talk about or like, you know, it's really not heard of. Mm -hmm. So to be able to you know follow that footsteps and trust that, trust in that ability that I can do it. Right. You know, so that's good. So just continue believing your dreams. You know, create your own path. You never know where it's gonna take you. Wee wee, brother. Wee wee. Yeah, my wee. Said, keep inspiring, man. Keep inspiring, bro. I swear, because yeah. we grew up together, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And then it's just crazy, because, you know, someone from Utah, someone that I know so yeah. close to me, yeah. you know, ends up being, getting drafted. It was all over Instagram, you know? So that was a great thing to see, yeah. you know? And it's putting on for the city, putting on yeah. for us, you know, our yeah. community over here. And so yeah. that's good to see, man. More more success to you coming. It's good, it's good. Inshallah. Yeah, like... Even if you, it doesn't even have to be soccer. Like, if you have a dream of something else, chase it, man. Just mm -hmm. go after it. Like, yeah, so, so what if it doesn't work out? But you don't want to be that person, like, 10 years from now, like, 
oh, I wish I, like, you right. know, I wish I continued it. Like, I wish, you know. Facts. Just chase it. If it doesn't work out, like, at least you said you tried. Oh, my God. Just as long as you tried, that's, that's all that matters. Hell, so, yeah. Yeah. For this next segment, we're going to mm -hmm. do a little quick rapid. Yeah. You definitely. know, quick fire, whatever they yeah. call it. You know, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Just yeah. give me your honest and all truthful right. answer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we'll, we'll just get to that. All right, we'll start it off. Favorite movie? Rush Hour. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Coke or Pepsi? Water. Ah, <laughs> Nike or Adidas? Nike. Coffee or tea? Tea. Go out or stay at home? Ooh, I'll be outside sometimes, <laughs> but, you know. Okay. It depends, it depends. I'm kind of in the middle. Cause, yeah. You know, sometimes it's like to kick you, sometimes. Okay. You know, if I'm bored, you know, I'm trying to go hang out with some boys, you know. Yeah. yeah no, I ain't trying to get you in trouble. Yeah. But no, it's I'll be, I'll be doing both. But yeah. Nah, they know I'll be outside sometimes. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> World Cup winner. Man, I really want to see Argentina win. Yeah, same, bro. I, really I think the whole world does. Yeah, I think, like, just not just because I'm a Messi fan, but, like, yeah. I think it'll be sick. Facts. But I don't know. Anything could happen, bro. Anything could happen. Oh, God. Yeah. It's all up to Mexico tomorrow. Shoot. Mexico. That Ochoa. That you could tie. It's okay. Ochoa. Ochoa, <laughs> chill out, bro. <laughs> For chill real. Out. Don't be doing that crazy stuff tomorrow, bro. Yeah. All right, these next three questions yeah. are a little controversial. You know, uh, controversial. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? English is not word, my bro. first language. It's a tough word, bro. <laughs> but, you know, just give me an honest answer. Yeah. Big year Tupac. Tupac. Canada or USA? Oh, man. <laughs> you know what? I got to say Canada just because my boys, you know. Okay, you know, okay. Some boys on the Canadian team. And this is the one everybody want to know. Yeah. Messi or Ronaldo? Oh, that's easy. The GOAT, Messi. Gang. <laughs> that's all. That's all. It's the GOAT, you know. Seven yep. Ballon d'Ors. Oh, okay. World Cup, you know, coming up next. Hey, you heard it here you first. Heard it from me, you heard it you from know. the man himself. I don't tell no lies. <laughs> okay. Only choose, you know. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Fahu for doing this shit with me, bro. Like, Shout out to Value you. TV. You know, they doing something right for the state of Utah, you know, in Salt Lake City. Um, if you want to follow me um, on Instagram, it's J underscore KWZ11. All right, appreciate for having me, man. Appreciate you coming, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out for everybody for always having our back. If you like this episode, you know, like, subscribe, comment, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And yeah, don't get better than this.